Hi, welcome to Around the Zoo. I'm your host, Sebastian, and today we will be learning about raccoons. Raccoons are medium-sized mammals native to North America, though some have been spotted in South America and Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they are most active at night and can live in wooded areas and big cities alike. Here at the new zoo, we have two raccoons, Zook and Zorro. Perhaps the raccoon's most noble feature is the dark mask around its eyes. While no one knows for sure why they have these masks, some people think it's to help them see better at night by reducing glare. Others think it helps them recognize each other. Still others think the mask emphasizes the animal's eyes during display behaviors and when it must defend itself. Raccoon bodies are covered in gray brown fur, and most of that is used for insulation. Their tails usually have five to eight rings. Raccoons have long back legs and have front legs with extremely nimble and sensitive fingers. Their sense of touch is enhanced when used underwater. Speaking of underwater, raccoons are excellent swimmers and use this skill to hunt fish, frogs, and crayfish. On land, raccoons eat fruits, seeds, nuts, bird eggs, and plants. Raccoons are highly intelligent and curious creatures. They can grab and open small objects with their nimble fingers. Their intelligence is mostly linked to their awesome sense of touch. And in scientific tests, raccoons have been proven to open complex locks after only a few tries. They are highly adaptable and can find food and fend for themselves in both the city and in their more natural forest habitat. In addition to being excellent swimmers, raccoons are also excellent climbers. In fact, they are even able to climb down the tree head first, which is very unusual for a mammal its size. Raccoons are able to do this because they can rotate their hind feet so they are pointing backwards. If you don't see Zook or Zorro when you visit the new zoo, try looking up in their habitat's tree. They just might be up there surveying the world below. While raccoons are cute and fun to see both in the wild and here at the zoo, their intelligence, adaptability, and willingness to eat just about anything they can get their paws on can get them in trouble if they go places they shouldn't. People can help keep raccoons away from their property by securing garbage bins and keeping the area well lit. Clean and empty bottles can be strung together to make an eerie sound when the wind blows. That will keep raccoons away too. If raccoons have gotten into your garden, plant cucumbers by the garden entrance. Raccoons don't like the smell of cucumbers and will be more likely to stay away. Keep in mind that if you are able to secure your property and vegetation, having raccoons around can be a good thing as they are great at keeping mice and other pests under control. We hope you enjoy learning about raccoons. See you next time around the zoo.